Okay, hi guys. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, open a video in Photoshop to create a, an animation. And this is called rotoscoping, where we draw on each frame of the video, draw or paint on each frame of the video. So I already have a uh, video prepared sitting here on my desktop. It's an MPEG movie. Um, it's just a silly but rather awesome example. I've chosen it mainly because it has lots of motion and we can trace over the frames and maybe create something interesting with it, but it's just an example video. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Photoshop. <clears throat> and I'm going to go right ahead now and open this video. So I'm going to File, Open, and browse for the desktop. We're already looking at the desktop here. There's my video, and click Open. All right, let's make it a bit bigger there so we can see it nicely. Okay, so I've got the video open. Now the next thing you'll need to um, be able to see is the animation timeline. If you can't see the animation timeline, you can open it by going to the window menu, animation. And that displays the animation timeline. You can see here we have the video in one layer. We also have a playhead here, this blue object, and we can click that and drag it and uh, scrub back and forth and see, see the video there in Photoshop. The other window that you'll want to be able to see or palette or panel here is the layers panel. Again, if you can't see the layers panel, go to the window menu and choose layers. Okay, and that will open the layers panel. So just looking in the layers panel here, we can see layer one, and we can tell this layer one is a video layer because the thumbnail has this little film strip icon here. Now I could go ahead and start painting and drawing on this layer one here, but what I'm actually going to do is create a new video layer to draw on, and that'll make it uh, a little easier for myself to keep my drawing separate from the tracing video. So I'm going to create a new video layer by going to the layer menu, video layers, new blank video layer. And you can see I have a new layer here in the palette, layers palette, and that's also reflected with a new layer here in the animation timeline. So what I'm going to do now is select layer 1, the layer with the video on it, and I'm going to lock that layer using the, this padlock symbol here in the layers palette. That just means I can't accidentally draw on that video layer. So now I reselect layer 2, and I'm just about ready to go. Now I can begin to draw anywhere I like here. Uh, and that's useful because I don't really want to have to start at the start and draw over all of this. The other thing to note here is in our animation timeline we've got some controls at the bottom of the screen. Okay, We have the next frame control, Okay, which just we click to move the playhead to the next frame and we'll need that when we're drawing frame by frame. Okay, so I'm just going to find the so the start of this animation, start of the video where it gets interesting. Now I'm not going to do a full animation in this tutorial. I'm basically just going to do some really quick drawing here uh, and to give you the idea of what you might be able to do. So I'm starting here. I've got my brush. Uh, I'm choosing a color here. I'm just going to start drawing in black. <coughs> um, all these settings look okay. I'm on layer 2 and I'll just sort of really quickly start roughing in this shape. I'm just drawing with a mouse so it's <laughs> pretty bad. I'm sure you get the idea. Okay. Yeah, some lights here. 
Awesome. There's the ramp. <coughs> now I need to move to the next frame. So click the next frame. Now a useful thing that you can turn on here is this called onion skinning and it's toggled with this button here down on the animation timeline and if we click it it goes a little bit darker but what you can see now is a faint outline of the lines that I drew on the frame before. And this can be quite useful when you're animating when you're trying to make something move smoothly you need to be able to see what you drew on the frame before. So now I can just again begin and again drawing very badly with the mouse but you, again you get the idea and so on. Onion skinning also lets you see what detail you included so that you can also include that detail in the frame that you're currently drawing. Once again skip to the next frame and so on. Okay. Three very professional frames of animation. Now, let's just imagine I've done a lot uh, and I want to preview my animation. Well, I can again drag my playhead back and forth like this. <clears throat> I could also go across here to my layers palette and toggle the visibility of the bottom layer and that lets me see my frames that I've drawn. I can turn onion skinning off and I can see my animation beginning to form here. Toggle that back on, turn onion skinning back on and then continue. So that's the basic setup for rotoscoping in Photoshop and really it's just down to your imagination and skill with the tools but you'll find that even loose drawing can create quite interesting and fun animations. You can create more than one video layer, you can create non-video layers if you want to have static elements in the background and really it's up to you how far you take it. So that's that, rotoscoping with a video in Photoshop.